What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And you are tuned in to another episode of Poor Minds. Yeah. Where a drunk mind speaks sober thought. Oh, we got a guest! We got a motherfucking guest again. Oh and we got a woman this <laughs> yes, time. Because so we've been happy. having so many guys on the show. We got like, noticed. It's yes. been nothing but men, men, men. So we had to bring in the girl power today. Okay. Yes. Yes. So we have the beautiful, the fine ass, Brianna Amour. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So for the people who are living under a rock <laughs> and don't know who you, because I've been following you since like the MySpace days. Really? You've been, been fine. Like, y'all know I always wanted a booty. Yeah. So, like, before I got my body done, I was like, doctor, doctor. You yeah. know, like, please give me you a had your wish pig. I had my wish pig, and Brianna was definitely in my wish pig. You know what I'm saying? Me so The so, booty is sitting. The booty is definitely sitting. So, for the people who don't know who you are, just tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay. Well, my name is Brianna Moore. Um, former name, Brianna Francisco. I grew up in Boston, and I live in Atlanta. I've been here for about four years. Um... I'm I'm a model. I, I'm a brand ambassador. People pay me for my services. I have over 1.1 million followers on Instagram. Period. I have 389,000 on Twitter. Um, so over the years, I've been able to accumulate um, a, a large following. And that's actually been the way I pay my bills for the last four years. Right. Right. So um, with that being said, a lot of people don't take being an Instagram model serious. Right. Right? Mm-hmm. I do because I actually do get paid to post. <laughs> let them know that though because yeah. I think that's that the misconception that post that was going around there's a post going around right now that it was like a girl be like I'm an Instagram model nigga be like oh, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm making 5 million on GTA or some it's shit like, that's not yeah. the same. it's right. not and I think a lot of men they, they, they can't do what we do so they hate on it mm-hmm. so instead of saying like oh wow she actually does Insta- she posts on Instagram and get paid mm-hmm. like that's lit like all your posts is like paid posts I'm right. like I know that's right and I think that's how it should be yeah. like if you're in that lane you, mm-hmm. that's how it should be every post should be a paid post I'm not mm-hmm. gonna you're not an Instagram model unless you're getting paid right. in my opinion well exactly. see and that's why I commend her because like get, to get a check from Fashion Nova because Fashion Nova don't want to pay <laughs> I you know. Because they didn't pay me, but I needed clothes. They were sending me free clothes. Times was hard now, bitch. <laughs> I needed them gauchos, ho. <laughs> but I, will- I needed that crop top, bitch. I had shit to do. But I will say, I was one of those people, too. I was getting free clothes. Yeah, and, same at one point. You know, um... I found out through another company that you can get paid. Mm-hmm. So that's when I was like, oh, hold up. I'm going to only free clothes. Nah, I'm about to start right. getting charging. paid. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to lie. I was scrolling through your page yesterday because I had ordered something from Fashion Nova. So I was looking for a little code. Oh, okay. <laughs> nah, I ain't got no code. I, I was like, man, they took all the codes away. No. I was looking for a code. But I'm not bitch. lying. You know they how- always got codes on Fashion Nova. I know, but the email. That's what I'm saying. But you know how you used to just like type an Instagram right. girl's name in? They took away all the codes. Mm-hmm. Oh, they did? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I said, God damn, I put Brianna Mall, Duran Nicole with three E's. Mm-hmm. Hey, well, bitch, you know, I ain't promoted fashion over in years, so my shit definitely wouldn't go away. <laughs> <laughs> We get it on bad terms too. Shout out to Fashion Nova. Girl, it's never too late. If y'all want to revisit, you know, I definitely ended on bad terms. This collaboration. It got to a point to where they were like, "Oh, upload, 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 upload." Mm. I'm like, "Bro, y'all sent me two pairs of white jeans. Relax." (laughs) Relax. Like, I'm depressed. I got shit to do. They're like, well, did you post the pants? Uh-huh. It I'm really like, do be like, you did it. And I didn't. But you wore them, now. I sure did. Why you ain't post? Exactly. Still, and I still be wearing them all. See? Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. That's your fault. See, you got to crawl before you uh, walk. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Then when I was, like, running out of clothes, I hit email them and I was like, hey, hey guys. <laughs> well... <laughs> I know last time didn't end up working out, but you know, this time I promise I'm going to be more professional. <laughs> I, like, I promise. Mm-hmm. They didn't email me back. Okay. I wouldn't email your ass back I neither. wouldn't email me back either, but you know, everything Because one of their workers probably seen your ass off. They was probably like, that's them fashion <laughs> over pants that we sit there hoe, but she couldn't post no pee. Mm-hmm. Well, shout out to you for getting the bag and letting Thank people you. know that being an Instagram model is real and it's yes. not just yeah. a made up profession because honestly, I take offense to that. Me too. Because I feel like if you make, if you figured out how to monetize yourself online, 
it's easy, but at the same time, it's not. Mm -hmm. It's not. So I feel like um, a lot of people don't take us seriously. Like any woman that's like making money from just being beautiful or mm -hmm. looking good, mm -hmm. you know? Because people always want to say something about, oh, girls, get a BBL. And then they start working out and selling workout plans. Oh, my well, God. Well, she's still working out. Exactly. Right. So you she still has to maintain it. She and still has to maintain it. But that's it. my thing, too. It's like, as soon as, this is why a lot of people are not open with surgery. Because mm -hmm. as soon as you tell people you got surgery, it deletes everything that you've done to keep it and look even better surgery mm -hmm. is just a plus right. what you do afterwards the aftercare and how you keep up is is totally different i agree 100%. so it's like oh you could post a picture of you going like this in, in a gym and they're like oh that's a bbl yeah bitch it's a bbl but also i worked out to maintain exactly. it exactly because right. if i don't work out bitch it's not it's gonna, gonna look like this and you're gonna after. be under the table three mm -hmm. times so right. like me because i'm going again <laughs> Another little sneaky round, my friend. Oh my! You look. Y'all both look great. I just want the titties to be little. What? Yeah, you know I gotta get these. I think I want yeah. a little arm, like oh, girl, bye. Your arm is literally. The size I literally of my wish y'all could see my arm. I have these sleeves on today, so you can't see but them. Lipo's but I do not. have a little. It's giving like cucaracha. Lipo's not gonna fix that. La cucaracha, la cucaracha. I'ma tell y'all, hey. Lipo's not gonna fix that. Why? Because lipo only gets the fat; it doesn't deal with the loose skin. You got to get J plasma, and that's uh, that's T. I'm oh, giving yeah, out T right about J plasma. I did. Well, I was thinking about getting it under my arms, but I kind of like my mac and cheese. Yeah, like, it makes you look real. I feel like niggas yeah. feel like I can cook. Yeah, but I really can't. Like, oh, so nah, that's so appetizing. Hey, I gotta no. do what I gotta do. Niggas mm -hmm. be wearing fake chains. Why can't I wear my fat arms? Okay, I mean, it. I don't know. I do like my arms sometimes, but then sometimes I be like, cause I just be in the gym and I just be like, when it's gonna go away? I know, girl, it's gonna take a while. You gotta... I've been in the gym for a month and a half. That's a all month time. and a half. That's not gonna no. Don't forget the half. <laughs> It but then like you just said months. you you missed like a week. I did miss a week. Okay, so it's you okay. gotta be consistent. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. more to me. I'll get up and I go for a walk in the morning, but I just be fine. being nosy. I be seeing you, girl. You do <laughs> no, not be I seeing do me. Be seeing you. Why do you lie? Is lying my, contagious? I be seeing you at my window. I be like, <laughs> No, I'm not gonna lie. One time I was <laughs> shipping off orders and Dre was like, I see you, bitch. What you got on? Y'all neighbors? No. no. But she lives but by okay, the post so office. I live by the post She's office so and annoying. I live on like the 12th floor. So you be outside with your binoculars? No, like I was literally <laughs> inside my apartment, but I could see Lex walking in the post office because I mean, she was like, I'm at the post office. Miss. She's so annoying. And I was like, I see you. She's like, I see you, girl. Mm, you got that, that booty out. <laughs> She said, uh-uh. And she tried to start looking all embarrassed. No, you wasn't embarrassed at first <laughs> with that little bitty ass outfit on. Anyways, mm -hmm. uh, let's get into these topics. So, okay. I'm really happy to have you on because Thank I feel you. like we have an ally in Brianna. Mm -hmm. We fight every day for the things that we I've believe been fighting in. I've all my life. Oh, uh, yeah. I fight for my life. Yeah. <laughs> like, we be fighting. <laughs> Every day. Every All day. my life I had to fight. So, y'all know that we love to date, um, you know, men that are well off. Mm -hmm. We don't hide that. We love BDBs. If you don't know what a BDB is, it's a big dick baller. Mm -hmm. The man who's going to spend on you, give you what you want, you what you need, and make your wildest dreams come true. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times we get flat for that. We do. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> clips go viral about us all the time. People call us crazy, stupid. Bed. We never gonna find love. We're gonna be lonely for the rest of. Oh, they be going in on it. Uh, same, same. Or they so, say, yeah, they say that what we want is just not realistic. It's not realistic. But I feel like we have an ally in Brianna because <laughs> Brianna dates the same type of man. We, we love it, girl. Right. I mean, let me say something real quick. I just feel like if you are able to provide a life for yourself and the things that you want mm -hmm. I don't feel like you're wrong for wanting somebody that can do the same at least for himself you mm -hmm. know what right. I'm saying so if that makes me a gold digger so be a white woman been doing this shit for a very long time they right. have and don't and nobody get no flex from right. thank you well that's the topic and it's, they're groomed that yeah, way that's mm -hmm. the topic today it's are your expectations too high when dating no so let me ask you this which one of those I'm gonna ask both of y'all this okay. cause I feel like both of y'all y'all look more advanced than me no Y'all, Rolex, Rolex, Versace. <laughs> we know who pussy good and who pussy all right. Girl, still single. <laughs> Shit, still that single, great. thank you. Still that great. Still I mean, it's great, but it's great. It's great, but it ain't great. Let me ask great. you this. You've been dating a guy for two months and your birthday comes up. Mm. What do you expect for a birthday gift? 
I'm asking. Two months. Two months. Are we fucking? Um, y'all fuck. Yes. Y'all yeah, fuck. I fuck. Mm-hmm. Um. Don't lie. And don't lie. Just be honest. <laughs> and, and it's, like, because at the end of the day, to be safe. but at the end of the day, it's okay. It's no, like, it's what honestly, you want. Honestly, like a Chanel or something. Okay, okay that's reasonable. Yeah, yeah that's not that's reasonable. I think two months. Yeah, a Chanel <laughs> or like the money, like ten bands. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, no, okay, that's, <laughs> that's, too much, that's too much. I mean, no, it's never too much. Whatever you never desire is what much, you okay. require. Right. Yeah. So, what about um, you? Too much? Y'all been fucking? Girl, it's your birthday. My expectations with niggas is so low mm-hmm. that honestly. They low? I don't expect shit from these niggas. I mean, for, for your these birthday? Men, for my birthday, no, I don't. Because every birthday I've had, honestly, I probably have one good birthday out of the 33 years I've been on this earth. So mm. I don't expect anything from anybody. Dead ass. So, but, I'm, okay, well, what will you ask for? Um, I would ask, depending on what I want, um, whether it be shoes or... <laughs> I don't know because I swear to God I'm like, actually shocked yeah. I thought you was going to be like well I got a Bentley for my 21st birthday no because everything I've acquired I've got it for myself I, I love so that because everything I've got I require for my pussy except for this but this, there's a story behind this so don't even look at the watch and it's busted down it's the bust watch. down for me <laughs> Ooh. it's a story behind that but we're not going to get into it but okay. honestly I don't like it, it, I like gifts from the heart so if you're going to do something for me do because you want to right right I, I like letting me see what a nigga's gonna come with before I tell him because if I gotta tell you something then you know what I'm saying right, if right. you're gonna do it like yo I seen this thoughtfulness mm. so if you're gonna be thoughtful you're gonna do some shit that matters to but me see, than me tell you what you gotta do what mm. Graham what, what thoughtfulness though sometimes I don't know I think sometimes niggas be having their motives and it be disguised as thoughtfulness mm. Mm. what you mean like elaborate like a dude will do something for you but it's because they want something in return or they expect they're expecting to get a certain result from doing this from you so that's what they're yeah. doing it not because they're really just being thoughtful or care about you being happy you know 100% right. and that's the problem that's the problem a lot of people aren't thoughtful they're just doing something for an exchange and you can could, you could see that as a woman you yeah. could tell and you decide whether or not you want to deal with that person for me absolutely I'm good I'm not gonna lie like I feel like I do expect things for my birthday. Like, my birthday is literally coming up. Mm -hmm. Uh, By the time y'all see this, it done Mm -hmm. Uh, (laughs) passed. But I'll say, like, I do expect, like, I don't, I'm not gonna lie, I don't expect the Chanel. But but let's talk about what you want for your birthday. What do you want? Because don't don't be, it's giving a car. Because it's more expensive than a Chanel. Uh, We'll talk about it after. Because we'll make sure I get it first. No, but is this somebody you've been dating for two months or is this somebody you've been dating? I've been dating this man for, for, oh, that's different. It's been Papa. But for two months? It's Big Papa. Y'all know who Big Papa is. Big Papa about to come with it. Oh, yeah, Big Papa. But I don't think... See, I don't know. I don't want to get into that. But let me say this. Okay, so if I'm dating somebody for two months and uh, it's my birthday coming up, I'm in this situation kind of right now. I expect you at least to get me what I... I expect you to ask me what I want for my birthday, and first yeah. of all. And I expect to send you the things that I want. And I don't take things too far. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to send a Chanel. Yeah. But y'all know me. I'm the Don. I yeah. love me some Louis. Like, I feel me like too. even if I don't ask for anything, everybody around me knows I love Louis Vuitton. Like, mm-hmm. so you should just go to Louis Vuitton and fucking get me something. Thoughtfulness. Yeah. And I don't feel like I should tell a person. And uh, honestly, my birthday is the best focal point for me because it's like okay you didn't do nothing for me cut off like i don't need to deal with you after my birthday Same. i definitely don't need to text you and i definitely don't need to call you right so i feel like as a man i shouldn't have to give you pointers like ooh, 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 this is what i want you should just know what kind of bitch you're dealing with and you're gonna get it period so let me say let me ask you this outside of the birthday shit we fucked the mm-hmm. birthday what do y'all expect from like a man that you you're dating like is it a lot of mo- more monetary things time time consistency and um i'm not gonna say gifts but like i said thoughtfulness so Mm -hmm. like if you know that i'm independent or whatever the case may be i'm paying my bills baby what you need today did you do your nails here's a thousand here's a hundred dollars it's my nails is a hundred dollars a thousand thousand would be nice Mm -hmm. i'm just saying don't don't lie no what i'm saying i like the thousand (laughs) but what i'm saying is that exact amount don't send the exact amount Just, just, just 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 be thoughtful like if you know that i'm doing shit by myself and you see that like offer to help like I hate people that be like oh I'm busy nah you're not that busy I'm not gonna lie if I, 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 I 
Go ahead, go ahead. I was just gonna say, like, I care about a nigga being respectful. I think mm-hmm. I've said this before. Like, at this point in my life, it's like I make my own money. I got mm-hmm. my own shit going on. So, I care more about a nigga respecting me than about, like, the material shit. Yeah. Like, yeah, of course I do. I'm not gonna sit here in front and act like I don't want those things or right. I don't care about those things. Because I do to a certain extent. We all do. However, I care more about you respecting me because I can take care of myself. Oh, so, if you're not gonna respect me, what are you here for? Nothing. Because if I really wanted to, I could go buy myself the same shit. Exactly. You know? But why would you want to spend your own money when you can spend his? Right. But the prophet Lil Kim said, why spend mine when, when I, I can spend, spend yours? yours. Mm-hmm. Period. Um, What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. Now, y'all know we like to get a little tip tip on the show now. We love us some Vizzy. Yes. Vizzy is so good. It's so delicious. And it's good for you. Yes. It has antioxidant vitamin C in it. Acerola cherry. Oh, not the acerola cherry. Because you know that has 30 times more than vitamin C has in it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It gets all, the nutri- all your antioxidants, all your nutrients. It's only us that would think about being healthy while also getting a little tipsy now. Because that's the only <laughs> way to do it. And they have plenty of flavors to choose from. They have black cherry lime, strawberry kiwi, blueberry pomegranate granted but they also have all their watermelon flavors that they just dropped so i have the blueberry watermelon and this is the passion fruit watermelon it's giving what's this? it's giving like tropical vacation Go ahead, tasty. sipping on the beach my nails too long i can't open it i just drink two of these hoes mm-hmm. she's trying to get me lit but make sure you are 21 and older to drink first of all but if you want to find out where you can get busy and how you can get your own and try all the flavors you're going to go to busyheartseltzer.com backslash poor minds that's busyheartseltzer.com backslash poor minds and get your busy on girl um so I feel like I'm not gonna lie I do the same thing with niggas like if you texting me and you like what you doing I'm like oh I'm at the nail shop or I'm getting my hair done and you don't send me no money I'm not gonna lie it turns me off girl if I tell you oh I'm getting my hair done and you don't immediately Apple pay me I do be feeling some type of way same right? I do same because I'm not gonna lie like I said I'm that type of person like if I was a dude I would be doing I would be doing that I would be a trick I would be tricking. Look at y'all. I'll be tricking. Oh, yeah. Because what? Money well, comes and goes. Niggas. When money you got it, go. no. When you got it, niggas don't be got. Niggas be big cat. But I'll say this: I've been man, broke. Man, I've been was, broke for a long time. But I, I made money. I had a long time where I was making no money. Now I'm making money again. It don't matter if you got money, you don't. It still comes and goes. Yeah. Yes. I was just talking to somebody about this earlier because me and my best friend, we know this girl or whatever that we both cool with. She live in Houston. Mm-hmm. She be under every nigga who got money picture. Like, oh, like no, you talking about? You ain't have to say. No, you don't know who I'm talking about. I think I. Oh, you never don't. Mind. Okay. Yeah. So, but well, we had a conversation about somebody that be under somebody else. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, not yeah. this girl. Okay. So she be Look under. You like. <laughs> We gonna, we gonna fill you in. Okay, okay. We do this a lot. We do this she a lot. be <laughs> under every nigga who got, well, shall I say, look like they, they got, got money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a pictures, like in their pictures. And I just be like, what the fuck? Like, why are you under all of these niggas' pictures? Because just because a nigga look like he got money, don't mean, don't he, got mean he got money. Mm. He could have bought that chain when he was up. Now he broke. Mm. That chain could be fake. Ooh. It could be his homie chain. Mm. Like, you just never know. And it mm. just be so crazy to me the shit that bitches be impressed by when it comes to these niggas. And also, too, even if he is up, just because he up, that don't mean he gonna spend his money on, on you. you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but a lot of girls don't A lot of these niggas that. is stingy as Facts. fuck. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I just feel like I don't understand why people make such a big deal about money when it comes to dating. Like, I it seems like all the podcasts right now, like the wave is to talk about what do you bring to the table? Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. Uh, I'm not doing this unless she do this. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I hate to actually even, I mean, I like talking about this because we yeah. have a, a woman on that can uh-huh. kind of get us a different point of view. But it's right. just so crazy because honestly, when I'm dating someone, money never even comes up. Right. No, it never comes up in my conversation. I don't even want to talk about it because I feel like I got Do money. It for you. Girl, let me I talk. got money. You got money. Why do we have to talk about it? But that's the thing. Who's I feel like with about? me, when, when I date guys, I already know what you got going on. I so don't. we don't ever need to discuss the money shit because right. I know you got the money so at that point for me it's like if you're not doing certain shit it's just because you don't want to and so I'm gonna move around I, I mean let me tell you a story real quick this okay, shit just happened on, yesterday 
Like, I met a nigga yesterday walking my dog, you know. Okay. Mm-hmm. Walking my dog with my little waist straight up. I know, okay. that's right. He had a nice car, and he he pulled, he turned around, looped the block, and he approached me. He saved his name in, his, in my phone, and he put, like, you know how there's, like, um, different record labels, mm-hmm. and it, he put the name of the record. I put his name. Babe. I was like, all right. I'm dead. I, I didn't say nothing. I was like, all right, cool. Not Job Records. <laughs> Not RCA Capital. <laughs> Not Motown. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, he, he texts me, and then, like, two messages later, he's like, how much is your rent? And I'm like, nah, good. listen, I've had bad experiences. So yeah. I don't, I'm not quick to take shit. But it did, um, pique my interest right it's right. because of like am I wrong for that no so, so my thing is like with men it's like y'all don't want to be treated like tricks but then when you do certain shit and then you get mad when a girl's like y'all alright well here's my cash app mm-hmm. so um yesterday I went to go eat with my friends I mm-hmm. sent him my cash app do I have a cash app Nah, big cap. Dre will block a nigga. See, she's and good he's, for blocking. I, like I don't. Let me don't check right now. Don't waste my time because if you don't want the situation to be about money, you, don't he, approach he me. Brought he, brought he, brought he brought it up. He brought it up. That's and not only that, like we in a meeting for dinner and he's name dropping, show me the cars that he's driving oh, and no. this, that, and the third. And I like in the back of my mind, I'm like, yo, this is way too much. But like, maybe he's never been corrected. Because mm-hmm. sometimes people be doing shit and they don't realize it's just corny. Right. So after the day, I was like. Take me home. Like, I'm good. Like, I need to go home. Right. Mm-hmm. And there's no shade. Like, I got shit to do tomorrow. Right. And he's like, get mad. I'm like, what you mad for? Like, oh, I thought we had a good time. I don't give a fuck if we had a good time. I gotta go home. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And then he was just like, you know, I'm I, I'm on that type of time where whatever you need, I got it. But, like, he's like, I don't want to feel used. Bro, you literally... The, it's only been a day. And we... And you and you literally me said, the money let me sheet. pay your rent. Swear to God. So, but, it's like... But I'm wrong, cause you ain't talking but, shit. But I hate go. when niggas play that reverse psychology ass bullshit. Like nigga, you know how you came at me. Right. You know you was talking to me about spending some bread. You know nine times out of ten you ugly as fuck, and I wouldn't have fucked with you if you didn't have no money. Okay, now, now, now you ain't have to go there. Now <laughs> he not that you bad. You did not have to go there. He not ugly. But this yeah. is what I will say. Some of them be alright. Like, if everybody but would just stop lying to themselves and stop Big faking, cap. you know you here for some pussy. And you and know, you know I'm for the money. Things. Like, we don't gotta do this. But and if we happen to fall in love, that's a plus. Right. right. It'll be a plus. But just be plus. real about your intentions. We had a conversation about this last week. Mm. What? Just about like niggas just not being real about just their be intentions. Real. I, don't wanna, I don't wanna be used, but during the first text message, you talking about paying my, how much is your rent? And, and I'm not gonna lie, Brianna stay down the street from Drea, so you know they, <laughs> it's giving Caucasian it, homes. It's, it's, it's a lot. It's I have giving, a two bedroom. It is yeah, a lot. Oh, she got a two. Oh yeah, yeah. girl. How about on the day he was like, pull up your rent? I was like, okay. <laughs> and then what he said? He put fifteen thousand dollars paid for like the next six months and then it asked for his card information <laughs> and it didn't it declined no not it the didn't piece is not no hidden. it didn't decline but he needed to log in and he was like oh i don't know my login bitch now you know this she you just ain't got thousand dollars girl this he was not be going through i don't like, girl, it. I don't like, like that either, either. Cause, and i'm glad we're having this conversation because i, I think a lot of uh, the girls who watch us they always say we want to be the b legs where they be at Mm-mm. where the be they not <laughs> here. we want to go out <laughs> what a hookah they not here <laughs> but it's hard like if it's not you got to know how to weed through these niggas i feel like if it was a girl who wasn't trained mm-hmm. not saying you're trained but we know we know the signs i think at this point we've been dating these type yes. of guys for so a long Brianna enough. already so knew to... cut this day short take me home mm-hmm. i'm good mm-hmm. but another girl would have been like oh I'm, let me give him some pussy no i think that's a problem too because a lot of the time bitches be thinking giving pussy is going to change their mind change his mind and make him do some shit it's like no he sis. Are, the nigga know the off the rip if they gonna do some shit for you or not they know if they feel like you worth it or not the only sure. way i'm fucking a nigga is because i want to fuck him right it ain't about it's not about what i'm gonna get afterwards yep. i'm horny i like you right and, and that's why i want to fuck i want to fuck now what you do afterwards is gonna tell me everything but like for me to simply date Just, somebody because right. i'm trying to get it back that's to me a common whore but yeah. whatever it's a, it's whatever. a, it's not a common whore it's prostitution but, but I'm not knocking nobody's hustle that's just not me and right, I'm right, 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 right. like I'm retarded I could be out here slinging puss and getting some money for it right. but I, for me it don't work you right. know what I'm saying I will say that because obviously I'm too emotional too because I yeah. feel like if I was in a prostitute and whore situation he done left $40 on a dress I'm no, like 
Well, we going to breakfast? <laughs> yeah, it's wow. like, for me, it's we not so to- much that I'm yeah. emotional, but it's just like, I just more so agree with you about, yeah. I'm going to do what I want to do in the well, moment. I'm just a living in the moment type Same. of person. You are, because I'm not going to lie. Drea then gave niggas some pussy Same. over just the vibes being right. Same. And then she did not gave no niggas no pussy and they done bought up the fucking store for her. Yeah. That's the thing. It's like, I swear to God. I swear. It's, the it's, 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 it's really about the vibes for me. It's niggas who done bought me crazy ass shit. And you ain't getting a man none of them. Now, I know, not I know you want to speak on it. Maybe you are. But how much is pussy going for these days? Pussy so I can going just for Drea, Drea, Drea <laughs> pussy going for about 70000 I'll just say that. It is. Pussy? Her pussy going for about oh, 70000 pu- I know I said in general, pussy. Oh, I was about, I was about to talk about hers. That's nice. Mine's about $40. It's a bitch. <laughs> I'm also. saying in general. <laughs> I'm saying in general. How much you Honestly, think these hoes is charging niggas? Let me tell you what they charging niggas. Clout. I think so Post too. Me. I don't even think bitches is charging niggas I money wanna no more. I want to be in the more. club no, with the are. bottles. You think so? Absolutely. I know. They are. But I'm talking about for the in general. Now, there's some girls that really be charging. I know so. really, I mean, we all do. Mm. But I'm talking about in general, these girls is not running it up. They don't know how, they ain't got no finesse. And mm. you know, I hate that word finesse because I feel like finesse, you're being a user mm. and you're doing like, you gotta, you're, you're manipulating people. That's what I've been called. But I done finesse before. Nobody's perfect. Yeah. yeah, I done finesse. But what I'm saying is, these hoes don't got no finesse nowadays. And let me tell you why. Because if you have to have a baby from a nigga to get some shit, you you don't got that mouthpiece on you. Mm. The, women are having you babies said to that get so many times. I hate so why that. do you feel that way? Because I feel like if you really if you really that bitch, <laughs> if you really that bitch and you that girl, you can get your things without trapping someone yeah. or tricking someone to have a baby. Um, but do you feel like it's always trapping? No, it's not always trapping. Because I think sometimes them niggas be very aware of what's going on. No, and they, they, they don't. Did y'all, wait, 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 wait. Did y'all see the um? There was something. Uh huh. I don't want to even mention the blog, but. I could bleep that. But there was a certain <laughs> um, Instagram chick that uh-huh. supposedly... Oh, yeah. I already know what you're talking about. Wait, wait, wait. So, so everybody... So well, like, you can whisper it to Lex. I already know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So, everybody's like down this chick's throat. Like, oh, she's getting 200000 from the baby daddy per month. First off, y'all... Y'all niggas is idiots if y'all believe everything else y'all into that. She's not getting two hundred thousand dollars. That's not true. And 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 two, why is it always the female's fault? I got twenty year olds, I got eighteen year olds, I got nineteen year olds in my DMs Facts. playing in Vegas right now for the NBA. In my shit right now. Right. And what I'm doing, and it's like, yeah, no, at my big age, I shouldn't be fucking with them. But then it's like, if I do fuck with them and I get pregnant, did I trap them? Now I trap them. (laughs) I will say this: I get a lot of young men, and I will say this. It was after that episode at 85 when I was like, I want me a powerful one. <laughs> Niggas was like, oh, she want that? I got you. <laughs> <laughs> but they be young. Let me tell you something. I'm, uh, but I don't like that. I'm yeah. saving y'all. Yeah. If y'all know how much of a service that I'm doing to the world, like I could really be like, I'm yeah. here, really. out here, but I'm not like that. Yeah, and I don't, right. I don't, there's nothing that a man under 30 can do for me. And I'm going to be honest with you right now. I agree. There's nothing that a man <laughs> under 30 can do for me. But yeah. it's just, y'all have to understand that well. the difference between men and women is a lot of these older men are pursuing these young girls. And there's and no it, problem with and, that. But I will say these young niggas be pursuing the older, older women. women. They be chasing us. They do. They be wanting them a cougar. They do. A lot of them. They a be lot. on the nigga. They, they don't want they bitches that age. They gonna say let's be home and act a donkey with them. Okay. Shout out to Lil Boosie. Shout out to Lil Boosie. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, it's crazy because they be looking at us like, mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure that that man in this situation we're talking about slid in her DMs. Like, you know what I'm saying? And now she's the one who's getting the brunt of everything. Like, oh, she's a gold digger. Y'all have to she, realize. She went after him when he was in. And I'm just like, what the uh-huh. fuck? 100% of these. Well, beat- I think that's more so because of other things. Because of who she pe- is. But people, people, that people he are wasn't living it. under a rock. That's he knew true. exactly who she was. I agree. So that's crazy to the next were topic. Were they married, though? No, they're not married. They're not they were saying they were married. It was a whole lie. Like, okay. let me tell y'all something. You can tweet and say anything. And if, it, if it's catchy enough, people are going to run with it. Yeah. But I'm glad we're on this topic because this brings me to the next topic. Okay. Well, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's Sugar Girl, Dre and Nicole. And y'all know, we love to eat. 
we love us some hello fresh you know with being busy being on the go all the time mm -hmm. hello fresh has made our lives so much easier because they literally send you everything that you need to create these delicious pre-portioned meals right I feel and like they're healthy they're healthy and also like if you're not a person who knows your way around the kitchen mm -hmm. everything is pre-measured pre-portioned the perfect size like so you don't overdo it or you don't not it do it too salty yes girl because i made <laughs> That lobster filled ravioli and shrimp. Mm -hmm. Bro, it was giving fancy. It was so good. It was giving Maggiano. It was giving, you know, <laughs> it was fresh. Giving Johnny off the Al Malfi. Uh, how you say it? Al Malfi? Amalfi. Amalfi. I don't know, I ain't been nowhere. Amalfi Coast. But yes, it was very good. Yeah, like, it was good. Yeah, I feel like. You know, you feel like you whipping it, it up. Whipping it whipping up. Whipping it up. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to HelloFresh.com slash poor minds14. That's HelloFresh.com slash poor minds14 and get up to 14 meals for free plus free shipping. Now don't say we never did nothing for y'all. Ain't no reason you shouldn't have groceries. Everything is sent to your dough. You ain't gotta go nowhere. Yes. Okay. Is it irresponsible to have a child when you aren't financially stable? Absolutely. Absolutely. Y'all mm -hmm. think it is? Yeah, we're yeah. gonna ruffle some feathers. Some it's gonna well, be. But why some... do you feel that way? Because what if it's like y'all in love, y'all in the hood, sleeping on a mattress no. in the middle of the Let floor? me tell you why. I feel like children don't ask to be brought into this world. Mm -hmm. So I feel like the least that you could do if you decide to bring a child into this world is give, them a, right. is give them a comfortable life. Okay. You know what I mean? It's like, like for example, with me, like my you, everybody knows my dad passed away last year. When my dad passed away, he had life insurance policies and different things in place to make sure that if something happened to him, me and my mom was going to be taken care of. Mm -hmm. And I feel like as Get a that. parent, those are the type of things that you're supposed to do before you decide, okay, I'm going to become a parent. Yeah. I just, I'm not going to lie, but we, we've talked about that before because I feel like when your dad passed away... That was a man, baby. He did what he was supposed to do. So whenever Me and mom didn't have to worry about nothing. paying for it was anything. A, it was the same thing with my dad. When my dad passed away, when I was young, my mom was good. <laughs> like, super good. But right. I feel like, I, I, I guess I do agree. But I just feel like sometimes you're in a situation where... You can't afford an abortion or you don't want to give up. But you can't afford, you, so you can't afford a $600 abortion, but you can afford a, a baby. A child that's going to cost $40,000 to have. Or more for the rest of your I life. Because I think that's about how much it's running right now to have a baby at the hospital. 40000 The hospital bill, yeah. It's like 40000 oh, Maybe it's a little shit. less than that, but it's some thousands. Oh, no. I feel like it, you shouldn't be fucking if you ain't got insurance because insurance is going to carry everything you need. That's what I said. Like an abortion you should be able to I don't know I don't know how I never had an abortion before yeah, so neither. I don't know how that shit operates I don't oh, know if you need insurance or not just, just I don't out. know no I'm just, just saying I don't know how uh, if not you me need insurance or you gotta pay for it out of pocket I don't know I never had I think had, you gotta pay for it out of pocket though you do if you have I insurance heard, you do I heard for real yeah I don't think that it's covered by your insurance yeah. even if you, you got you, insurance you, you, plan you gotta play out of pocket I heard plan B covered by your insurance yeah yeah you don't pay full price if you have insurance not that I would well, I'll say this. I think sometimes accidents happen. And sometimes you be in love with somebody. And even though y'all aren't in the best financial situation, like, you just want to create a life with a person. No. I have a few different reasons why I say this, though. Because I am totally against... Like, I grew up with people. I had people I went to high school with and shit who... You know, you turn 16, you get your first job. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then their parents was making them pay bills. Oh, no. Why the fuck is you paying bills at in your 16. mama's house at 16? They like, were 16 at war, for real. <laughs> nah, people think you're an adult when you turn 18. Yeah, you're not an adult at all. Like, you still no. figuring out life. And then even with that, too, it's like it's so many parents out here who, as soon as their child turn 18, they ready to throw them out Let to Let me blow your mom real quick. I didn't start paying all my bills 100% by myself until I moved to Atlanta. Same. In 2017. Me too. When oh, I was, my God. Ditto. Me too. Like, I just stopped paying my own bills like all together maybe like four years ago. Me Let too. me say this. My mom took care of me until I decided to move. What? My mama just stopped paying my Literally, phone bill. Because now she be like, bitch, you making money from poor mom. <laughs> I'm not paying my that shit no more. My mama be asking me to pay her bills yes. now. I'm paying my mama bills. I, I owe a little something. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I Same. like to, even though she don't need it. Right. She don't need it. But I be like, you know what? Do something nice for right. yeah. But I'll say this. 
Yes, my mom was paying my rent. I was living in the medical center in Houston wow. when I was in college. And if you live in Houston, you know how nice the medical center is. Because my mom took care of me. Because that's the point of being a parent. Yeah. To take care of your kids. My and mom and my dad so always looked out So I agree with y'all, but I'm kind of not. I'm on both ends of it. Because I had a mom who broke her back. The only reason I'm here... Is because of her. Is because of her. And like, because I she let me chase my dreams. Yeah. I wasn't like... I didn't want to be a doctor. I didn't want to be like my sister. She's a respiratory therapist. And That's so she just supported me. Yeah, It's so crazy. It's like we're twins. Yeah. My sister, she went to school um, to be a nurse. Mm-hmm. And I didn't go to college because she fucked it up for the both of us. I'm a twin. Mm-hmm. So, oh, really? Yes. It's another one. Well, it's we another thing. Bitch, I no, no, like no. That. She think thick, but we're not identical. We're fraternal. But oh, like, I was she, she went to school first and she was um, trying to go to school. She went for her um, massage therapist. Mm-hmm. And and mm-hmm. she didn't like that and they they did everything with her and wow. then she became a nurse but they, you know the loans and everything they were like nah we fucking wasted on your sister yeah. we're not gonna do that with you oh, so yeah she so, was like let me post this ass yeah bitch. and guess what it worked and you know my mom and dad been married for 30 something years wow they Same still together yeah. yeah they still together I mean my dad he's he's a wonderful man he does provide for us he does has his ways I'm not gonna get into that but I will say that um, I just feel like when coming from a two parent home I feel like it takes two people mm. and it takes two responsible people and you're not always going to have a plan but are you working towards a plan together right. as a unit because I'm not having nobody's kid out of wedlock I'm not having nobody's kid to be somebody's baby mama and do this shit by myself we're right. going to do this shit together well you know so, what so maybe that's why your views are so different and not different. what I expected Yeah, because I really thought you was going to be like run it up give no. me the thing well, that's but you come from a yeah. very happy household. Mm-hmm. That's what I, and I'm glad that you have yeah. got to show this side, like for real. Because mm-hmm. I mean, that's what I assume. Like, I'll be like, bitch, like that, she getting money. I need to do what she no. Well, that's what I was gonna say. Can we chat about that really quick? Because I think that that's a common misconception that people have. Like, they feel like, oh, if you grow up in a two parent household, then mm-hmm. you're gonna have certain views, and then if you don't, then you're gonna have opposite views. Mm-hmm. But it's like, it's very okay for you to grow up with a two parent in a two parent household and still have the views that we both have because yeah. I feel like people are always shocked when they find out that I had two parents well, yeah. I, but people what I'm used not- to be in our comments like these bitches they both got no have father. no daddy right. 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 me and my daddy was very much like my daddy got my Instagram yes. right. <laughs> well I think you're a little more cutthroat than her but mm-hmm. I think y'all both have the same, same idea yeah. like the same idea you yeah. know what I'm saying so that's why I said I'm actually shocked cause I thought yeah. she was about to be like cause she said Chanel I knew she was about to be like you gotta buy me a business no. that's why I said but my dad well, was yeah. very my dad was very like yo you want something go get it right. I'm gonna support you though but if you want something go and get, get it. it yourself he's not like yeah. he didn't he always instilled in me like I don't want you to be that kind of girl that's gonna depend on somebody for right. something I want you to make it and, and do it yourself see and that's why I'm the way I I am because my mom like when my dad passed he took care of my mom but she took all that money went to school built us a beautiful house I grew up in a huge ass house pool in the backyard living very lavish okay Mm -hmm. so it was like my mom was very smart but she was like you know what get it like do what you have Have to do do. always have your own money so it's like me having this this other side of me where I'm like you know use these niggas and run it up do you feel like Atlanta changed you not to cut you off no yeah that's how I feel I mean that's how I feel and that's going back to what I said as far as the Chanel like absolutely I do feel like yes if I'm fucking you and we I don't care if we've only been fucking for two months (laughs) I want to fucking Chanel because that's what I want for my birthday but that's what we've been introduced to And and nine times out of ten you are already came at me like that if I'm required if I'm like oh that's the type of gift I want you probably already made me feel like you was I'm gonna comfortable buy to ask right. you that. Right. I'm not gonna lie like I feel like a lot of my friends um talk about how me daddy big papa has like ruined me cause they were like there's no man that's gonna just send you five thousand dollars on the regular like that and just give you this and that and I'm just like but yeah I know that but that's what I want yeah. so if I can't find that I'm okay with being alone like that's until you I find want. it until I find and it and if I don't then it's just gonna be me. You know, it's kids. gonna be me and Drea and little and little DJ. DJ. <laughs> that's my that's my future kid name. <laughs> Is that a dog? I, I tell DJ. anybody who got who's single and want to have kids, have a dog first, because I have one, and it's like having a child, and it's not a joke. I and really? I was laughing at that post that you and Diamond. Well, when you were trying to <laughs> take Donnie, <laughs> Donnie did not want to leave, and y'all, girl, 
girl, her dog, and my dog are lovers. They, yeah, they're like best friends. They really? are best friends, and they be oh, humping each so other. Cute. Girl, y'all, look, Dominic, if you see this, you know me and Gotti I'm beefed sorry. up. I don't fuck with Gotti. Yeah, Lex hates it's Gotti, Gotti and I life. be trying to figure out why. Cause he's he so a little cute. horny dog. Gotti is very horny. The first time I met Gotti, he, he came up leg. to me, he scratched me on my leg, scratched my whole leg up. Me and Gotti don't fuck around. But I don't know where he gets it from. He is very wild. <laughs> very wild. Okay, so now we go get, get into the bed. Hey. The bed. Oh. The bed. Bow. 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 bow, bow. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And we have some really <laughs> exciting news today. This is a big deal. It's huge. You ready to say it? I'm ready to say it. I'm ready to say can it. Can you so, believe we we finally here? I can. I can believe it. It's been a long time coming, so we're actually going to have our first live show. Oh, <laughs> shit! Y'all have been asking for the longest time and it is finally here. It's finally here. So, so. we want to let y'all know way ahead of time it's going to be November 17th mm -hmm. at Zany's in Nashville. This is my first time in Nashville. Me too. We I deep in Nashville. Nashville. I didn't know we were so deep. We in outside. We outside. And y'all need to be outside too. Yes. Yeah, so November 17th mm -hmm. we're going to be at Zany's in Nashville. Make sure y'all get y'all tickets right now. They're when on I tell y'all, y'all thought that this shit was good. Wait till y'all see the live show. It's gonna be so good. So we're gonna put the link in the bio mm -hmm. for y'all so y'all can get y'all's tickets. And um, we'll see y'all November 17th for my live show. Let's Come get it. Come up with the world. Oh. Okay. Mm. Mm. So Ooh, for the bed segment, um, we really wanted to talk about freaky rich men because yes. I think I, I rich don't want to. And I don't want to say it's a misconception because I do feel like for some women, this is their experience, right? Yeah. Um, But I think a lot of the time when you're dating, like, guys who are very wealthy, mm -hmm. they want you to do some really nasty shit for the money. Or different. And for the shit different. Yeah. Different. We'll different. Okay, we'll say different shit. Yeah. Different shit than you're used to. Um, to get your things, you yeah. know what I mean? And so people will look at it like, oh, she getting this, she getting that. They, they don't really know what you going through. Mm. <laughs> oh, what God. you got to do to that get that shit. That nigga that shoved a pancake in your booty <laughs> hole and uh, <laughs> niggas be like, oh, she got a bird, baby. She got a brand new car. <laughs> this nigga done stuck a blueberry up my pussy. A blueberry muffin. <laughs> Bruh. So a lot of people don't real. That's why I'm so glad we're having this conversation. Yeah. This whole conversation has been about BDBs, so y'all can get the real shit that goes on with these. Cause niggas. it's hard. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm not gonna lie, like I told so y'all. So what's the craziest shit a nigga ever asked you to it do? Was the eating that shit um, thing. No, I think it was the poo. It was the poo. <laughs> Cause I already know. But he was, was he a BDB? Yeah, he was. he was. I mean, he never like bought me things but he would definitely like like we would do a lot of stuff like together together and then it was like he invited me on trips but i didn't want to go i'm not gonna lie to y'all i actually just declined a trip to bali because nice. yeah but i didn't want to go because he didn't he said i couldn't bring drea and if i can't bring drea oh, yeah. where can oh, i go you're just like me i want to bring my friend yeah for yeah. sure yeah she was like bored. what about drea he gonna say what about her nigga now what about but you exactly. what about you now but that's then what that's gonna be you you and her and him. They already done went on like five days. Exactly. Um, no, it's been way more than that. So wait, do you bring her on your dates with you? No. no. I go on, like, we go on dates alone, but at the end of the day, I'm not going to a beautiful place like that. I've Without been, my best friend. I've been wanting to go. If you know me and you follow me, y'all know I love Bali. I've been wanting to go there since me too. literally I was, I've seen Eat, Pray, Love. Y'all know I talked about that on the other episode. Destination Thailand. Mm -hmm. I've wanted to go there for so long. So if you yeah. think... I I'm about well, to go there, yeah, a I place that I have dreamt about my whole life, and I don't get to experience that with my best friend. Yeah. Like, come on, bro. So it was more than that, but at the end of the day, that's just what we be doing. But You're anyways, to get that um, I, I think that. the weirdest, um, <laughs> what was the weirdest thing? <laughs> What? No, she what was like, not get that pussy. That pussy. I did. <laughs> I think the weirdest. Well, I won't say. <laughs> Was it weird? Um, I don't think it was weird. It was just like he had like a hygiene thing. Like I told y'all, I went to um Dubai. It was kind of like a situation. It was like, hot. It was hot. <laughs> so it was like every time before we fucked, like he was like, "Go get in the shower." Be. No, he was just like, "Go get in the shower." Like oh. it would be like five o'clock in the morning, and he would wake me up to fuck. And he was like, "Go wash off, baby." 
Oh, that sounds like an African accent. It was. Yeah. Oh, I'm so and done with just, Africans, bro. Like, it would be like 3 o'clock in the morning. I'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> Not him, you. I would have been like, yo ass getting the yeah, shower, Yeah, like, bitch. he was like, he had like, but I would just go and I would wash yeah, it. Fuck you. You go wash your ass. Look, now. Go Lady wash, Tom's baby. Was hard. Real was due, no. Do it like it's my BD. <laughs> I mean, trust me, girl. I, I'm in the but number. no, I'm not going to lie. Like, it was a little weird because I'm like, bro, it would be like I would take a shower, we would fuck, we would fall asleep, we would wake up in the morning, he'd be like, go take a shower, baby. And, and I would, would he take a shower too? But was he taking a shower? No, I mean, he was bathing, but every time we fuck, no, he would not take a shower. So what the fuck that's supposed to be? I mean? don't know, and I don't stink for y'all get that's there. That's how I was getting it. To. No, I don't stink. <laughs> no, baby, about, whoa. It don't stink. <laughs> it out like what the fuck but no it wasn't that but cause they're it, sweet cause it, I would've been like bitch you take a shower yeah, yeah it, it was weird it I was definitely like, weird you gonna take one first we take but, one but together but I will say this he was like he liked to eat ass oh so every time you he would eat my ass you attract the niggas that like to eat I ass. do I don't know what it is mm. I have never I'm not gonna lie like to it? y'all I do like getting my ass ate I don't but, um, I do just slimy I don't know if it was like he I like slimy but I will say this the reason I defend him cause I do fart in my sleep so maybe I was letting him go when I was asleep and he was like go wash because I want to eat it but you okay. need to get bait you know you got to wash your chicken before you fry it you be trying to you do uh -huh. I be holding my shit well that's not I, do, I, so I, I, I'm I sorry. do I don't fart but in front of but when you men. sleep but when you sleep yeah. you don't know sometimes oh, I need to spread the cheek streak nah, that we talked we about <laughs> already but I would say that was probably the weirdest thing like, they be trying to say it don't work but I feel like they don't be doing it if right if you spread your cheeks and I'm not if you lift the one cheek and then let it out it's just going to Instead of, okay. Instead of Oh wow. So then he not gonna hear it. Now if he lift the cover up, but that's, that's, a that's a whole nother story. That's a whole That's a whole nother story. But no, I just feel like and honestly I'm not gonna lie, after that Dubai trip, like he invited me to London, but I didn't wanna go because I'm like, I'm not about to be bathing fifteen yeah. times. Yeah. Like, it was too much. Garfield yeah. was like, bitch again. Right. Like, That's going yeah. off your pH. It was just too much bathing. Like, yeah, but, no. yeah, that was probably the weirdest thing. What about y'all? What about y'all? <laughs> what about y'all? I know I'm not the only one. Don't leave me hanging. Don't leave me hanging. <laughs> I had a um R and B singer ask me to eat his ass. Ooh. That was my first time. I never, I never ate a man's ass. I'm not gonna before. lie. It was the R. It was the R&B singer. The first ass. Like, fuck it. I'm a, fuck it. Let me. Yeah. It was a, answer it. It was an R and B nigga. The first ass I ate. It, no. It was an R&B nigga. I, I wouldn't it. call him that. But we'll say R&B nigga. We're going to talk about it. We're going to we we chat drop, later. Because he's going to be like, <laughs> why are you talking about it? He's going to call Dre and be like, Dre? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm going to be like, bro, I don't even know nothing about that. Right. But no, it was an R&B dude. So tell me, well, can you tell us a story? Yeah, I mean, he was really cool. I knew him for a while. And um, he did ask me. Well, first off, we were in a the studio. There was this girl. She was on my body. Like, she liked me mm. and he was like you know she likes you i'm like okay i'm not like that or whatever mm -hmm. i don't know yeah give me a refill but for whatever reason he ended up inviting her to back to where we were going and i was like why is she here mm. and she's like i'm only here for you and i was like i'm not on that type of time i'm mm. just not on that type yeah, of time right. i was like no so you, you abort don't mission i've done it before but it's not my thing like okay. honestly I, i'm not knocking being a lesbian it's just I, for me it's like i i don't really fuck with dildos and mm -hmm. don't do nothing for me and on top of that it's like where do we go from here right. <laughs> like, right, you know right, what i'm right. saying so um i've tried it not for me but um long story short she ended up going he sent her on her way and he was just like yo do this and i was just like this is a long time ago by the mm, way so I, I didn't know shit about i didn't know that that was a thing like some girls they'd be like yeah you should satisfy your man your yeah, man that's me that's, that's me like, yeah i'm with that's i'm me. with that i'm with that but like somebody that we that just kind of you know but no, yeah. i do agree like i'm not gonna lie we don't have to be in a relationship but mm -hmm. if we fucking around and like you my nigga you i'm gonna do whatever it you takes. want me to eat it up Eat it up. Well, yeah. For my man, that's completely different. I mean, I might lick a little, you know, do a little one-two. 
Get up. No, I'm be in that mother. No, I ain't about to be in there. It's about to be like, go to corral. It's a buff. It's a But they don't be shaving their bones. I'm tickly. I'm a little bit. I don't give a damn. I like it nasty, nasty. I like it nasty, nasty. No, so the nastiest thing that I ever had, in my personal opinion. You feel like it's different from a rich. Yeah, I feel like this is the nastiest thing I've ever had a rich dude asked me to do is um spit on me on you not like, in your mouth on me like not in my mouth but like in my face oh my he said Whoa. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> yeah, like but he wanted like, to he like get spit. off from that. I don't know. I feel like he was hood and he just was a hood nigga. He liked that shit. I'll say this though, and it's about the disrespect. Yeah, I think that's what it was about too. Yeah. Like the disrespect. I'm not factor. gonna lie. I wouldn't. I don't know if I would like that, but I do like to be disrespected. I didn't like it. I, don't I let him try it, and I didn't like where it. Yeah. Where it landed at? Where? Come on. Where it landed at? On your forehead. Where it landed? Dre was like this with a loogie on her head. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I like it, Daddy. <laughs> oh, poor oh, baby. Yeah, that, that feels good. <laughs> I'm having flashbacks. That feels good. Oh, sorry. That's wrong. No, I was. <gasps> y'all, Matt, you have been degraded. It was like 1920 in Alabama in that bitch. But the crazy thing is, I need it back, and then he got mad. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I, I thought we was playing tag. This nigga's in the bathroom talking about. <laughs> <laughs> he was probably like, wait, 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 bitch. This not what the fuck. This not what I said. I know what the fuck. Right. I swear to God, y'all, he got so <laughs> mad because he did it to me, and then like five minutes later, I was like. Now see, I would have. It's not how it's supposed to go. You know how niggas like to put it in your mouth? I would have. <laughs> nah, nigga, I don't think this is a one way street. Yeah. So y'all was just in that bitch spitting on nah, each other. Nah, nah, it only happened like. It was that one no. transaction. And, and after that, like you never it. seen him again? And No, we still was fucking with each other, but what? he was about to spit on me again because he knew I was going to do that shit back. <laughs> Period. That's I'm dead. Don't um, do it unless you want me to do it. Yeah, back, I'm not gonna boy. lie. I do like to be disrespected in the bedroom, but I like choking. To be, yeah, like choking, Absolutely. slap me. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, say I'm into that. Me, you a dumbass. Oh, you took me back. You a dumbass bitch. Yeah. And like, I even yeah. like spitting, but like in the, in mouth. the mouth, not like no, on my like face. That. That's like Corona. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Well, it's too you much know, saliva. Pre Corona. Pre Corona. Yeah. Well, this pussy is vaccinated. You got the vaccine? Oh, she sure did. did. Was it scared? No. We, I, I think I'm about to I go got 30, though. I got 30,000 vaccines in me already. Me I got chicken not. pox, polio, all that shit. Get vaccinated, god damn it. I, I just not, don't know the side effects. Yeah. My that's been hurt. my thing, too. I didn't long? know the side effects. For like a, a day. Week? A day? Literally. Not, I'm not kidding. I was back up and running the next day. I went to The I, second one, my arms started hurting a little bit more, but... You didn't experience like flu-like no, symptoms or nothing? No. But I will say this. I'm not going to lie to you. I have a very strong immune system. Since I've been younger, yeah, same. I was that girl that when everybody would get sick, it's you time to get, get flu shots. I never got sick. Yeah. If I get a cold, it's serious because I never get like I never get sick. Me so too. I have a very I strong immune system. never really seen you sick. Because I don't be sick. Why I don't you get sick tomorrow? I have an immune <laughs> system. They're going to call me... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but Drea, like you said, you've been my friend. And when have you ever seen me like, I'm sick, bitch. I can't get mm. never. I never really get sick either. That's though. what I'm saying. So I was good. But yeah. we're not going to get into mm. that. If you want to get vaccinated, please get vaccinated. Mm. I was straight. Pfizer gang. Um, <laughs> so now we're going to get into the bop. Hey. The bop. Hey. The bop. Bow. Mm. Bow. 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 Okay. You want to go first? Go ahead. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre Nicole. And we have to tell y'all about babble. Because we be babbling. You know what I'm saying? And now we can babble. In another language. Oh, you know what I mean? So, That's the best part Babbel of is an app that teaches you different languages. They have up to 14 different languages. Mm-hmm. You can learn Spanish, French, Italian, German, whatever you need to oui, learn. Oui. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> so listen, so y'all know I recently went on vacation, right? And I was in Spain, I was in Mexico. My Spanish is not that great, but I use my Babbel. I've been mm-hmm. using it for a couple of weeks now. Mm-hmm. I was good. Hola esta, papi. Como esta? Muy bien. Y tú? <laughs> oh, what was going on? He wasn't ready for that. 
He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready because I knew what he was saying. Well, the great thing about Babbel too is that they have so many different things on the app. You can look at greetings, menus, directions, podcasts, mm -hmm. live classes, whatever you want to do. So, um, if you want to sign up for Babbel and get your bilingual on, you're gonna go to Babbel.com and use promo code Poor Mind. So you're gonna get a three month subscription for free with the three month subscription that you pay for. So that's six months for the price of three months. Okay. Yes. So go to Babbel. Dot com that's b a b b e l dot com and the code is poor minds that's p o u r m i n d s for an extra three months for free okay get your language on <laughs> what are you going to go first yeah go ahead okay my bop is by capella gray mm. okay what's it called Gallus. <laughs> okay i know the name oh what kind of song is it it's like Mm, reggae fusion. Okay, but I don't know fuse with what. Okay, oh fuse with back that ass up. Okay, yeah, girl, you look good. Once you back that ass up. Okay, so it's like a little New Orleans, but a little reggae. Yes, and it's such a bop. And I shout out to Llama. Shout out to Love Llama. Llama. We shout out Llama every episode. We do. Shout out to Llama. I'm obsessed with Llama because is that an artist. No, no, Llama has a podcast. Yeah. And let me tell y'all something. It's very rare that I see a podcast and I'm like, this concept is fucking fire. Yeah. Mm. You need to go on his show. It's Where's called Views from an Ex. He's in, He's New, in York, New York. But it's called Views from an Ex. So okay. he talks to people about um, Their, a, a past, past relationship. relationship that just really fucking changed them. Oh my mm. God. I wish we talked about that today I, because I have so much to I say. I know. That's Girl. what I'm saying. I'm going to link you up with Llama because I know you got some stories to tell. It's so good. It's His so good. Show is so, so good. So if you but... like podcasts, look up Views from an Ex. It's okay. so good. But Shut yeah, so Llama had actually uh, messaged me on Twitter after mm -hmm. I had posted it. And he was just like, this is like the song of the summer in New York. And I was oh. like, really? And he was like, yeah, they playing it everywhere. So okay. I, like, mm -hmm. I want to hear it. What's it called? The girl got a good ear. The Llama? It's, it's called, the a &R for me. Um, it's called, oh, you talk, are you talking about his podcast? The song. Or the song? The song. Oh, Capella Gray. Capella Gallus, Gray. G-Y-A-L-I-S. I'm going to just put Gallus. Okay, so my bop of the week was actually sent to me from a listener, and I want to shout him out because y'all send me so much music, but a lot of times I don't like them. I'm sorry, I don't. <laughs> but every now and then, y'all be sending me some shit, and I'm like, y'all know my style. So I got this bop of the week from um, one of my listeners. His name is at district underscore D6 on Twitter. Shout out to you. He sent me a bop. It's called Antidote by now and I, I think it's nao or now n-a-o and it's a fucking like mm -hmm. afro beats bop mm -hmm. he's talking about the vibes the chocolate skin on his woman if you like the tim's album this is a bop that you'll like okay. i love that y'all are sending me these songs that are so summery i have a whole playlist like of these good, it's just good music. It's feel good. They was I, calling us out on the last episode because they said both you hoes talking about y'all was gonna drop a new playlist and y'all had. I put them. I put it in the link. Yeah, I want to hear the, the songs. Bio. I want to hear the songs. Well, yeah. we can't play them because we try to get our YouTube channel. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know, copyright, copyright infringement. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So yes, this is like a good vibe song. I love vacation music. If I can listen to it while I'm on a yacht mm -hmm. with my nigga, mm -hmm. this is a bop. So, um, Nio Antidote. It's so good. He's talking about like how he's just with a fire ass woman mm. and her vibes are good and they just us. turn up yeah us he's explaining us you know <laughs> he's basically saying like this woman is his antidote I like, like that. you know like I like when people talk about us talk about women and right. how beautiful black women are cause he because he says chocolate are. skin I wanna hear it now I love What's men it's it? called antidote Antidote right now. now. Okay, okay, okay. So I now. feel like um, when now. a man now. when a man raps about a woman and talks about her beauty and her skin and the melanin, I'm sold. So Into yeah, that's all. So what have so you, what been you, listening? Been listening? What you been listening to, girl? <laughs> okay, I really I don't know. It's like weird. I go through these like weird phases where I'm like into Afro music and then I'm into like hardcore R and B and rap and shit like that. Mm -hmm. At one point, I was like on ESTG. <gasps> Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.
the ASTG has on me and Lex right now fire, is insane. He's we love next. him. Obsessed. I was Obsessed. on him for like a good two months, but I was on this song that one day I woke up and I couldn't get this song out of my head. And it's called On My Lake. It's called Bad Influence. So it's O F On My Lake. Oh my leg. O M A H L A Y. And he just basically was talking about like it seemed like he was talking about like somebody he broke up with and now he's like, I smoke a hand the scene now. Come in with me now. No, 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 you would hear it and you would be like yo this is it's an afrocentric song oh that's up my alley Mm -hmm. i'm gonna send it to you send it to me it's such a vibe and you're gonna be in your car like hey hey, that's what i like if i'm in my car i'm like yeah 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 yeah. so that yeah and he's like she calls him the smart smoker we start drinking hennessy that's how i be that's how i be the bad influence you need to send me that so it's called bad influence by all my life all my leg just put bad influence and you'll see it come on okay Okay. Mm -hmm. so now we're going to get into the pour your heart out segment of the show our favorite mm. segment if you want um your question answered on the show please um email us at ask at gmail.com now i do want to say if you want to give us um like a review on the av- advice that we gave you what do we call it um, um we, so we're actually gonna start doing another segment where we want to have like your testimonials yeah the testimonials mm. how you know listening to poor minds and taking our advice and stuff like that has like maybe changed your life and if it's for the good or for the worst it's like a Yelp review right if you want to give us one star write that shit in we want to know right so we just want the testimonial so when you do write in you know still still send it to askpoorminds at Mm. gmail.com but put testimonial in the description box yes yes okay I mean not the description box the The subject the subject subject. just put testimonial and let us know girl it's hot I gotta mm. you know what I'm saying I already know okay so question one I'm 22 years old, and last year I befriended this girl that lives in my city. Mm-hmm. It all started when she DM'd me on Instagram asking to be my friend solely because I was pretty and on my shit. I was a little iffy about it at first because I've never developed friendships with people just because of their looks or what they do for a living, but we ended up becoming cool. However, recently I've been noticing some weird shit, especially when it comes to niggas. Anytime I mention her, anytime I mention to her about a guy I'm interested in or fucking with, she goes to follow them and starts interacting with them Mm. and flirting with them on social media. I know it may sound a bit childish, but at the same time, it's just like, why? Mm. Girl code. But when she starts fucking with the nigga and see that he was already following me, she would literally demand him to unfollow and block me. Mm-mm. also she is a big ass hypocrite she literally gets upset with me for the same shit she does if I don't text her back instantly she will blow me up and go off on me like I'm her girlfriend or something but she can go days without responding to me and I won't trip she has shown me a lot of signs that she's a trash friend mama told me to cut her off because that's <laughs> not mama told me mama told me hey, not that's still mama <laughs> <laughs> Mama I told love me, saying it. So I mean to cut her off because that's my intuition talking. Do y'all agree with her? Yeah. Yeah, I think you should definitely cut her off. Um, that's weird behavior. Yeah. And I think people that do shit like that, they secretly like jealous of you or wanna like want your life. Let me tell y'all something. Because why would you ever be Man. liking somebody's pictures or doing all this type of mm-hmm. shit with a nigga that I'm fucking with and you my Especially friend. Every time Dre sends me a nigga that she talking to, I go look at his face and I'm like, oh, he cute and right. I never and go back to that alone. nigga page again. Right. Literally Facts. ever. Facts. Um, have y'all ever seen that movie Roommate? Remember yes. she was obsessed with her roommate mm-hmm. was like trying to take her life. You talking about um um single white female? No, it was no, a movie no, called it's, Roommate. It's a movie called Roommate. Yeah. Maybe like literally, ten years ago. Yeah, she's yeah. like literally her roommate, but she's like trying to like live her life. This is the same thing upset. with single white female. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So I feel like this is somebody that either wants to be you, they're jealous of you, they just mm-hmm. want your connections, and she's trying to use you. Cut mm-hmm. her off. Don't ignore red flags, especially when it comes to friends. Like, Always be re- weary, be weary too of like bitches who want to become who want to link mm. up with you because of being pretty. Like right. that's literally the worst reason to ever become friends with somebody because mm. pretty bitches be the worst friends mm. 
That's a fact. That is a fact. I mean, listen, I've been in situations. Because you had somebody that was like, I want to be your friend. Like, <laughs> but she wasn't pretty. That's why I was confused oh. why you did that. And it'd be the worst when they're not pretty. But when they are pretty, yeah. it's like, but I've had situations like that before that, you know, you, you hang out, not necessarily hang out with a person, but you introduce to a person by someone, like, let's say me and you. Yeah. Our friends, and you introduce me to her, but me and you are more friends than I know her. Mm-hmm. And now her nigga like me. Am I wrong? Ooh. Like, she's in I've a, been in that situation before. I have too. So have I. It's none of my business. Me three. It's none of my business. But I'm bad because you're a nigga like me. Instead of you fighting your nigga, you want to fight me now. Ooh, I have been in that. Who was we in that fight situation? Your nigga. See, yeah, that's fight the your problem. Nigga. Girls don't be fighting the niggas. They want to fight the bitch. They it's be one so thing if you if, if, if the girl, these niggas is trash. If the yeah. girl is your best friend, like that's your right hand man, like that's your bitch, like y'all go everywhere together, that's different. But all these little here and scare them Instagram girls, she don't like, owe you nothing. No, yeah, like I feel like if two of my I friends, they are friends. Right now, if you ever catch me, if you ever catch your nigga DMing me, I don't owe you nothing, and I'm gonna respond. Thank you. Ooh. Thank you. Mm, I'm and, just saying. And people be feeling some type of way. I and I don't know you. I don't owe you. So it's going to be different if you're with a nigga. Like, at this point, I know We you. know each other. So, so if no, you're I have a girl. A I have a soccer. Okay. Like, I, I've added her. We've been going back oh, and forth with each other. I've She's seen mad it. over a nigga I never met. She's I've mad over it. that. I don't even want to talk about it. I said I was going to ask you about it, but I changed She's my mind. Crazy. I'm not even going to talk. I'm no, not gonna we're not going to say. Name. We're not going to name drop. But we never, me and her no, never chilled. Me and her never chilled. We never hung out. We're right. not even friends. We might have like Kiki Key on Instagram, but that's it. We never that's, hung out. I mean, that's we all do that. And then you try to fuck me with the nigga, and you're mm. mad that the nigga's in my DMs. Mm. I see the girl. I said, hold on. Like, why Why are you mad at me? Why are you not mad at him? You mad right. at me. Right. Right. I'm going to say this shit again. All these niggas is free game unless you one of my friends. Like unless I or know you're you married. Like, or you're married. And even or, that, but even then. <laughs> or unless that nigga tells or unless that nigga tells me about you. Because if he tells me about you, then that lets me know he's serious. But if about a nigga you. tells but you about is not doing it. They shit. don't claim a girl. Like they'll be like, uh nah, that was da 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 da. That's that. But then even then it's like you mad at me for a nigga telling me that you was just a jump off. Yeah. Or Ooh. that you wasn't even at. Ooh. You mad at me over a nigga telling me something. Like, help me understand. Like, why am I? Because these the one niggas be threat? lying. That's they why we need to too. be mad at these yeah, niggas I because they really be trying to put us against you, each other. Yeah, I feel like if you ever in a situation where a nigga is telling you about a girl and you and the girl going at it, you need to question your man always. These niggas are liars. They want us to fight because they get them out of the doghouse. And if you really just sit there and talk to the female, you find out a lot because I even was in a situation where my ex was making his ex girlfriend sound crazy as fuck. And then I found out that he was trying to make me sound crazy. And I was like, it's mm. not even like that baby and, and had me and her not baby. had a conversation we would have had known <laughs> me and right. her would have never had a conversation and we would have known we would have been hating each other till this day but we had a conversation yeah. so niggas just be lying but niggas back to the advice trash, cut her bro. off she's weird yeah mm-hmm. that whole weird and don't be becoming friends no more with bitches who be like oh you pretty let's be friends yeah mm. never works out no right Drea. All right, next question. <laughs> I've been single and celibate for the last two years, been too focused on working and raising two kids. Wow. This summer, I've been having a lot more fun time on my hands and decided to get me some. Ooh. It started with a trip to Vegas with my homegirls where I met a guy. We hung out all day and ended up in my room where we did some extracurricular activities. Ooh. It was so bomb and he came back the next morning and we got we got it in again before my flight. We found out we live only three hours away from each other and decided we would meet again after i landed at home he said he had something to tell me i was thinking all types of stuff but come to find out he's married but still (gasps) wanted to continue to see me i let him know i had to think about that because i ain't that type of person fast forward a month later he's in my hometown busting me wide open the sex is so bomb i don't know what to do just having fun for now not expecting nothing long term but i want to continue seeing him y'all think i should stop seeing him and of course he's told me he's married but they're not really together blah 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 uh, damn not you looking we just at me. talked about this <laughs> right now i'll say this <laughs> what's this- that uh that gift <laughs> I'll say this when dealing with Mary. I'm because y'all know we keep it real in this podcast. Have I messed with a married man before? Yes, I have. I've mm-hmm. said that before. I'll say this. Don't expect nothing from him. He's not leaving his wife. But I feel like if you're messing with a married man, it should be beneficial for you. 
Absolutely. That's the only way you That's should fuck with a married man. That's the only way to be that you should. Other than getting dick. Other than, I mean, yeah. No, but, but you, you need to be, be more than dick. You can get good dick from a single nigga. That's what I'm saying. Other than dick. It doesn't need to be just dick because you can get dick from a single nigga. You can get good dick from a single nigga. If you're fucking with a married man, you need to be getting ahead on your bills, investing in your business, <laughs> doing what you It needs to be a lot of that. I'll, I'm, I'm just being honest with you because he's not leaving his wife. And even if he does leave his wife, mm-hmm. you're going to figure out why him and his wife divorced. And you don't want to be with him no more. And even if he do end up with you, he going to do the same, same thing, thing to, you. to you. Don't get your feelings involved and get your things, sis. But if you start developing feelings, definitely cut it off. But just know karma is real. I know that shit coming to me and I'm just waiting on it. <laughs> Dick be fh-fire. fire. Fire is fuck, but it's just not worth. It's not worth. It's not. It's not worth the headache. Not, I don't recommend. But she it. already in, so like, how's she gonna get out? She's either gonna go in just deeper cut him or off. she don't. Well, she ain't say nothing about him spending no money. Yeah, he's like, unless, he's him doing, off. unless he's doing for you, she cut move? it off. So she said, "How do I handle the situation? What situation? You fuck. Oh, okay, so hold on. Should wait. I stop seeing him? She said." Should she stop seeing him? She said she's she having fun. He, so I guess basically he's telling her like they not really together. They about to get a divorce. Lying. You know the typical shit the typical. niggas be telling you. I hate niggas. Oof, girl. Girl, good luck. <laughs> That's but what, what, what really took me out is she said, I let him know. I had to think about it because I ain't that type of person. But then he started forward <laughs> one month later. He's in my hometown busting me wide open. So you are that type of person. <laughs> Mm-hmm. different situations right. will bring out the difference in, in people you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying but mm-hmm. he gotta be doing something I'm sorry like there's no benefit of fucking a married man if you just get deep cause he not leaving that's that crazy lady. yeah podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp and Poor Minds listeners get 10% off of their first month at betterhelp.com backslash poor mind what's up y'all it's your girl Lex P and it's your girl Dre Nicole and y'all know we gotta tell y'all about our favorite program that we use and we swear by BetterHelp yes we definitely love better help we've been using it i don't know at this point for maybe six months months. it's been a long time and i love my weekly sessions with my counselor tiffany she's helped me get through a lot of things that i have been dealing with in this past year and i don't know what i would do without better help i don't know why i waited so long to start getting therapy right i feel like therapy is something that we don't talk about a lot especially in our community and it's something that people can definitely benefit from so we have partnered with them to you know get y'all a better rate financial aid is available it's available in all areas Mm -hmm. so it's like you're doing it from your phone so whether you need to text them call them video chat whatever is easiest for you it's better than sitting in like an uncomfortable waiting room so you don't have to do all that right so we do have a patient review and it says kate is very attentive and a knowledgeable therapist she listens carefully and is very easy to talk to i appreciate her knowledge of all my concerns and she checks in on me throughout the week i feel very supported with kate and i feel like i could tell her anything and that review was submitted by a better help user after being with kate for two weeks on issues concerning stress anxiety eating disorders and coping with life changes so whatever you're going through better help you can literally like specify whatever problems yeah, you have and what and kind of counselor, a counselor for you whatever kind of counselor you want whether you want it to be a woman someone who's religious a male um someone of color yeah, yeah whatever they let you choose everything that's why i love it mm-hmm. so we've partnered with them and you're going to get 10 percent off of your first month you're going to go to betterhelp.com backslash poor minds that's better h-e-l-p dot com backslash poor minds and remember financial aid is also available yes. yeah um all right question three hello Dre and Lex. First, I want to start out by saying that y'all are so beautiful and funny and I truly enjoy listening to the show. It's my go-to every car ride. Today, I'm writing to y'all because the most Telenova shit happened to me recently. <laughs> oh, you must be Hispanic. Right. Okay. Hispanic. Telenova. Uh, I, 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 my ears are like, uh. I found out through 23 and me that I had, wait, what does that mean? Who's 23? Uh, that's the biological Oh, okay. What? That's the biological thing where you send your DNA in. Oh, okay. So I found out through 23andMe that I have a half-brother who had contacted me. We have the same father, and the dad I grew up with all my life is not my biological father. I confronted my mother, and she admitted that she was seeing this man at one point and wasn't sure who my dad was. When I came out, I looked just like her, so she never told my dad. Wow. Wow. 
She started shitting bricks when I told her I was doing 23andMe because I always wanted to find out, find out where I came from because everyone always asked me what I was mixed with or where I came from. I thought I was just Mexican, but turns out I am half Dominican. My mom doesn't want to tell my dad because she knows he will leave her and break up my family and everything will change forever. My heart is broken to know that my dad is not my biological father and this will literally kill him when or if he finds out. I'm also going through an identity crisis. This is literally my third day knowing and IDK what to do. Part of me wants to know my half siblings and my real dad down, to, down the line because they never knew about me, but my mom asked me to do it in secret. How would y'all handle this situation? Damn. Now, I feel like you maybe Bitch, have more. Bitch, I already <laughs> knew you was about to point at me. That's why I started doing that. Drea got a little more not, insight. I am not the one to answer all these questions all the time. Goddamn. Thank you, Brianna. <laughs> um, <laughs> hmm. I would handle it in private. Well, first of all, my situation is a little different because my parents did not deceive me. They, they did. told me. <laughs> not deceived. Because that's deceit. That is deceit. Your mama was being deceitful. Like, you can't be mad at your mama because that's the only mama you get. So I don't think you should hold that against yeah. her. But that was very deceitful. Um, my parents were not deceitful with me. I always knew that I was adopted. Only thing I didn't know was who my biological parents were. And then once mm -hmm. I got to a certain age, that was also information that they gave me as well. Like nothing was ever hidden. You're so adopted. Mm -hmm. I am. I but by my family, though. Oh. By my family. Her uncle, sister, mother, cousin is her baby no. daddy, brother, Why are you so ghetto? <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm trying to explain it to you, it's, girl. It's really more like this. It's really more... Okay. It's really more like my <laughs> mama that raised me is my great aunt. Her sister is my grandmother, and then her daughter is my mama. I so my cousin... It. is my mama's sister, brother, cousin. Oh, is your mom? Yeah. And so my mom that raised me is my great aunt. That's dope. Right. Okay. So... <laughs> I just think that um, mm, How would you, I would have a conversation with my mom, number one. She did. Because, oh, the mama died? No, the, oh. mom, no, the, the mama died. She no, had a conversation with the mom. her mom told her to do it in secret. Secret, yeah. Mom, no, fuck that. I would let your mama know, like, no, this yeah. is my life, and this is how I want to handle the shit, and I want to talk about it to whoever I want to talk to it about, mm. because I'm trying to get closure, because you wouldn't give me none, because you hid the shit from me. So do you think that she should tell her dad? I think she should. Mm. Cause I think he deserves to know that as a man, that's fucked up, and it's gonna. But hurt I think him. he needs to hear that from, from the his wife. wife and not from his daughter. Yeah, yeah, but at the end of the day, if the mama not gonna tell him, I don't know, bitch. I I'm not like, getting involved with my parents. Yeah, I'm not, not, get, not. I'm business. not gonna lie. I ain't getting involved in my parents. I'm gonna get, get in contact with my siblings and I'm gonna build yeah. a friendship with my siblings. But other than that, if I if I'm really I inclined, like, I don't want to get involved with I my agree. parents' marital situation because at the end of the day, that's their marriage. And when she's ready to tell them, she's gonna tell them. I don't want to be. But she person. clearly wasn't ever ready to. Tell I know, them. but if it's on you to want to build a relationship with your siblings, and who's to say you want to even get that. to know these not know those motherfuckers? Right, they might anyway. be some fucking weirdos. And, and you, you get there, you don't even like him. And he's not weirdo. Now your parents divorced. You lost your yeah, siblings. Fucked up and you're homeless. Living under 85. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Bitch, go meet your siblings and see if you even like them. Yeah, like I'm not about to say shit. Yeah, I feel like she needs to go meet them. And then be like, nah, they're weird. No, Never I mind. do think she's her, I, I, you know what it sounds like to me? It sounds like her mama chose the BDB. Okay. And that's on period. I had a situation if, if with one of my friends where his like mom never told him about like his dad or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then he started looking for his dad. His dad ended up like was dead or whatever. Oh. And then he met his brother. Well, he found his brother, but then he seen the brother was weird and he didn't even want to meet that's him what in I'm person. Saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So you don't even so, meet this side of the family first and see if you even want to have a but relationship. It's still family, with them. though. I mean, it's still family, but I'm not gonna lie to you. It's some family, and we and I ain't got I no know. complications in my family. <laughs> and them motherfuckers, we're girl, fuck you. They're like, hey, Lex, I seen you on the 85 South, girl. Who's you? God, yeah. Girl, why do you always do everybody voice like that? Because <laughs> I don't fuck with these motherfuckers. They all the same. That's to how me. they be saying it. How they say, it. hey, Lex. <laughs> I seen ya. <laughs> Proud of ya. I never knew, you know, we grew up in orange together and you know, your cu I'm your cousin. They're gonna your message first you. cousin on your mom's side. They be missing the two. They be the always, always. Always. I showed you a picture of her before. 
She gonna message you after I this. I don't life. give a fuck. She is. Was that about me? Yeah, I made the cut. <laughs> Bro. Girl. Yeah, that's so I don't even fuck with family that I do know because they be weird. People be weird. So nah, people do I would weird. meet them in secret and see and but yeah. don't butt in your parents' marriage. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Alright, Dre, last question. Go ahead now. Mm. We over the mark. Hey beauties, I'm a new listener, and so far I'm not going anywhere. Y'all keep me laughing and interested. You're doing beautifully. I'm 23. I just started talking to this guy and I told him I was bi and that I'm seeing another woman too. He said it was fine. So a couple days go by and I went to his house for his birthday and his mom and sister was there and his sister is the woman that I'm talking to. Oh, 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 oh my God. That's so weird. Bro, it was so awkward. They tried to play me dating both Hold on, wait. It was so awkward. They tried to play me dating both off the whole night. But it was so cringe. How do I handle this? I don't want to have to choose between them because I really like them both. And that's kind of weird to date them both. Ugh. Leave the situation I would completely. T- I would date both of them. I would cut it all off. I kind of like too much. There's too much people in the world to be fucking brothers and sisters. I, I kind of like the excitement. Mm. I mean, mm-hmm. I do like chaos. We love chaos. We do love chaos. Uh, it's a little... But look at me. I just said, tell your daddy. I love a little chaos. <laughs> but I would have told my daddy that shit. I'm not, I'm not fucking a brother and a sister. That's too weird. But you know she what's already gonna, did. But you know what's going to happen? Because they're probably... They probably already knew and it's come some incest shit going on. Oh, mm-hmm. remember that movie? What was that fucking mm-hmm. movie? Cruel that Intentions? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes! Yeah. It's probably some cruel intentions. You can tell we all have a little bit of a white to yeah. background. <laughs> a little cause how we know about this shit cause we're weird we're weird oh, literally I wanna, no, have a movie. Talk, I wanna have a movie night yeah That's we do need to have a movie I night I wanna have a movie y'all, night I don't, don't get involved in that shit because there's no way that y'all didn't know I sister am, and brother yeah. this sister, there's so many people in the world let me tell you something you don't have a sibling well you do but she like six months yeah she so three she, yeah. so I have a sibling and we're three years apart they every time like, Yes, me and my sister look, look exactly like. like. So every time I meet a new guy, I don't care if he just even sniff me. I'm like, girl, this is my man. This is my man. <laughs> girl, look who he is. So she already know. Like, who is it? So it's no way a brother and sister, they knew that they was both fucking you. Mm-hmm. They either, were, yeah, trying like, to, they either were trying to set you up to embarrass you or they're... Or they thought that shit was cute. And they got they some know. weird shit going on. So mm-hmm. cut it off. That's a little weird. That's cut it off. There's too many people in the world Cut for that. it off. Yeah, I wouldn't want no parts. I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, if you want your question answered on the show, make sure you email us at askpoorminds at gmail.com. Make sure y'all like. Make sure y'all subscribe. We're trying to reach a goal. Because a lot of y'all just be watching and don't subscribe. Yeah. Just subscribe. And make sure y'all subscribe to our Patreon as well. Yes. Um, it's P-O-U-R-M-I-N-D-S on Patreon. We drop new bonus episodes every week. And Brianna, go ahead and tell them where they can find you. Um, yes. You guys can find me on Instagram. It's Brianna. Anna Amor, B R I A N N A A A. That's Amy with the three E. It's the link in the bio. Yeah, and s- same for Twitter. It's the same. And I do have an OnlyFans. Mm, you be busting that pussy open and No, not the back. pussy, but I do be twerking a little bit. Okay, okay. Not a lot. I just do, uh, I show a lot of things like behind the scenes photos or like, okay. that's it. It's it's not like that. On that demon time, she oh. might start her Baby, I made a lot of money last year. Period. I know, that's why. So let me ask you this. You don't have to get into detail because I don't want you to get into detail, detail. Just before. So if y'all don't know, Brianna had a podcast for a while. No, but I, no, Ooh, let me. No. I know y'all was looking at like no, this no, no, shit no, no, ain't no. gonna last. I'm not. <laughs> I'll say this. I I'll wasn't say this. looking at it like that. I did it. I didn't. I, I thought it was gonna last. I, I did. I thought it was a great. Ep- I thought. I mean, not it a was a great. Ep- I thought it was a great. Podcast. Not a great episode. Maybe <laughs> there was a few the episodes. One episode I was on. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it. She yeah, said, I thought it was a great episode. No, I, watched more, I watched more than that episode. Okay. I thought it was a great podcast. So let me. Okay, go ahead. Finish, finish. Go ahead. Hurry. No, you can go ahead. Well, the reason <laughs> I asked I you know this, what you're about to say. Well, because I feel like you are in a category of beautiful women that are, like, I'm not going to lie. I am gorgeous. Yeah, we know that. Beautiful. But Drea is a different type of pretty. Like, we all know that. So, I'm I feel beautiful. like with Drea having Thank a podcast, people, like, a lot of times, like, they didn't want to hear what she had to say because she was beautiful and she looked a certain type and of way. And I had the followers she, and shit. Even though right, people don't want to listen to this. this podcast brought out her personality and now she's getting to show people 
people that she's more than just this. So I just wanted to ask you, because you had a podcast for a moment. Yeah. And I know it's hard to make that transition from like Instagram model mm -hmm. to having an opinion and letting people know I'm educated. So yeah. how was that experience? Even though it's not still a thing, but how was that experience for you? I would have loved for it to still be a thing. But now I'm starting to realize why there's not so many girl groups. Like mm. there's too many opinions. It's too many like two is cool when it's three is always going to be an oddball in a situation mm. you know what i'm saying so i'll just say that but um i will say i like taking pictures i enjoy it mm. like i've been doing this shit since myspace yeah. like it's just something i always enjoy doing um but when it starts becoming work and i'm not having fun with it i'm mm. done with it and that's right. how i felt with the podcast i felt like you know you tell me i'm not on time if i'm five or ten minutes late but you catching a ride with me like that's mm. like weird or you know what i'm saying like certain little things i just wasn't feeling and as i was looking at it like if we're friends like you should be able to bypass certain things but certain people don't look at people as friends they mm. look at it as a business business yeah. so mm -hmm. i get it and you know i have to put my business focus on and realize like it's not about me it's about what we're trying to accomplish but um what was the question <laughs> Did <you> <laughs> Going Girl, from being okay, Instagram model, model to like, no. do you like showing your person? I do. Do you feel like you want to show your personality more? I do more? because I feel like people see my pictures and they'd be like, oh, they think I'm stush or they think I'm like some kind of like stush. Bitch. What is stush? What is, is that, that a bomb like thing? Her. It's like, oh, she real stush. Like, she's a bitch. Like, I like, can we steal that? Yeah, my gay stush. friend told me that. I have a gay best friend. He tells me all this language. I like that. He's from Boston too. Okay, so stush. That's the, word. the way Boston people talk. By yeah, the way. people be like, oh, you talk white. I'm, I'm from Boston. All thing I know about Boston <laughs> is baked beans. So we got Red Sox, we got Patriots, and we got Celtics. What you mean? I just like the beans. Oh, no, no our sports is fucking lit. <laughs> no, the sports is lit. We're lit. Okay, so do you it. feel like you want to show more of your personality? I do, but I want it to be taken in a serious note in a in a right context. Because first off, we was putting it on Jesse's um, YouTube because she already had a YouTube going, mm -hmm. and I always thought about doing a YouTube, but I'm I'm I'm, I'm 33. You want to do it on your own terms? Not only that, I don't know what the fuck. One time I went on YouTube, I was confused. I locked down. I wasn't going back. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm on I, everything else. I'm on TikTok. I'm on Snapchat. Mm -hmm. I'm on Instagram and I'm what, on Twitter. TikTok? Yeah. I think I be wanting a TikTok. I got a TikTok. I have a TikTok. That's the quickest I way. I don't post. I just look. It's the quickest way to um, grow mm. followers for real. But we I do need to make a video. full minds TikTok. You should. We might have to make that Alexa. Alexa, I want to say Alexa, we got a job coming for you again. Absolutely. Alexa I uploaded. About to be like, Damn. Yo, I uploaded one video on there and I got 35,000 followers. Really? Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, because, TikTok is quick. Yeah, because I you, said, what do I have you know to offer? You know what? I'm going to make a... I'm gonna show you four minds today. But yeah, other than that, other than that, um, it was a good experience. Was a good experience. I'm down to do another one. Oh, that's what I was gonna ask you. Would you do another podcast? Absolutely, if it was done right. Absolutely. Well, good. We like your personality. That's what I'm saying. It's so hard. Listen, this is and I do understand why people have that view of like girls who have a lot of followers because most of them don't really have that much personality if you put them in front of a camera and have to talk. Yeah. But we just don't know. Mm. That's true. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of people don't give people that chance. Like we talk about this all the time. When I started, when when we started the show, everybody was like, "Why, Drea? Why? Why like, not?" She just, but once they see, they like. Yeah, bitch. I know what the fuck I'm doing. And chemistry. The thing is, y'all not sure want to take all the credit. I'm not taking the credit. I'm just saying. I knew you was funny, and I knew you had a personality. Like y'all got my bitch fucked up. Yes, yeah, she's beautiful, but but it's, it's not more just to that it. too. Y'all have really Oops, good sorry. chemistry together. Yeah, right. Like some people, you be on the fucking thing with, and you're just Jimmy like she don't get my real. jokes, yeah. or she like over talking you, or it's just like weird energy. Like you know what the or, fuck like, I'm talking about. Or like you're sitting there as the guest, and you could tell the two yeah. of them don't really fuck, fuck with, with each you. other. Or yeah, along. yeah, or yeah. even fuck with you. Sometimes, honestly, I'm glad that you were so involved. Sometimes we be talking to each other, and forget we have a guest. Oh no. Baby, I'm here. Because <laughs> we be like, I'm like, like, okay, I, I, I be like, this is not what you were saying. <laughs> first of all, Drea is talking. Shut up. First off, bitch. You know, that's why I got to do this. Because sometimes for me. these guests be getting out of line, bitch. Drea is talking. <laughs> Don't talk over my bitch. And that's the other thing. Like, you got to give each other enough time to communicate and say what you're trying mm -hmm. to say. And certain people be want to hear the own sound of their voice and they mm -hmm. over talk people. Let you say what you got to say. Let you say what you got to say. Well, you Let see me done. do that a lot. Oh, you finished. Uh huh. Go ahead, girl. No, go ahead. I'll be over here like this. I, 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 go ahead, girl. <laughs> Chemistry. 
money. Oh, oh, you oh, can't oh. buy it. You can't sell it. You can't buy it. It is what it is. Chemistry is everything. All right, so let's let's wrap this shit up. All right, let's get into that motherfucking song. I wanted to sing this today. This is actually Drea's pick. It was. And it's originally by a song called 3LW, but it's by three. a song, a groupie. Uh, shut the fuck up. It's the wine. It's God the damn wine. it, let me get it out. Lord, we it's got seven not, ads to do. It's not 3LW, it's 3TW. Three thick women. That's on oh. period. Okay. Th- 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 shut up, th- 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 The Album coming soon. Period. So, okay. Who's starting it off? Me? She no, is. I she am. got the list. Now, you, why are you trying to play? I want to see Dreadus outsell me a few times <laughs> and actually, like, who start me? <laughs> Bitch, who you think? One, two, three, not Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here we go. I'm getting a little tired of your broken promises, promises. Looking at your manners and different number than number. Call you on a selling and with the fellas, the fellas. Hanging with my girls, you always getting jealous and jealous. I was with you when you didn't have no dollars, no dollars. Hanging in the grid with them with your mama, your mama. Never running you, never brought the drama, the drama. Now you want to run, play a please. No, I'm not the one. Say it again, say it again. Oh, no, I'm not. The one you do or you don't. Oh, you do or you don't, don't. You will oh, and hear. you won't, won't. No more. Oh, no more. Baby, I'm gonna do it right. And you can't, and you can't, can't. Come on, be a man, be a man. No, no more. No more. Hit it, Dre. Baby, I'm gonna do it right. Treat me like a lady when you open doors. What well, actually? Ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> you I was gonna like, do. You scrolled too far down. I did. Oh shit. Oh, I was oh. gonna do. Oh, hold on, wait. Which part? Did God, you- hey, yo, you promised me K Spade, but, but that, that was last grade. Year. Oh, wait, oh. <laughs> this is eighth grade, <laughs> and you ain't Biggie baby boy, so ain't no one more chance when oh. your friends around. You don't wanna oh. hold my hand, and you now you see a girl telling him while in the side the mix. Huh. Not the whips, the whips, the five and six. Huh. Yes, fly chrome, so part of my tone. Here go a quarter, go and call time Oh, get it out! Y'all, see, this is why. I, I just wanna know oh. what happened to our oh. love. We used to be best friends. Oh. Where did we go wrong? Then you're gonna see. Yes! Something um, is to me. Oh. I'm tired and I'm done with all your reason, baby. Shut up. Oh, you want me? You gotta hit the little kill. Oh, three, where we at? Three CW, you need a little more practice, bitch. <laughs> three CW, we need some more, you know, mm. one on one courses. Now, now y'all understand why. Why that lady, mama's baby, is gonna be singing everywhere? Now y'all see why I went solo. Mm. See, I don't know where that was. Now, Brianna been trying to find a lyrics. We got a song over. <laughs> Thank y'all for tuning in. We'll it? see y'all next week. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. She was like, oh, like, where's the right. rap part? I couldn't find that part either, though. That's why I just thought it was pretty That's why I was like, something in the, something in the, in the, in the, in. First off, you on a website. She we said, on Google. She said, oh, I'm on Genius. Dre said, hey, boy, you promised me a K Spade. Brianna said, what's, what part is that? <laughs> but that was eighth grade. She was like, where, where is that? But that was eighth grade. In eighth grade. I'm saying, like. <laughs> No disrespect oh, to the girls that be still wearing the case made. Oh my god. I, I got a story about that, but you do? Oh my god. This was mad fucking fun. <laughs> yes, that was a good oh, episode. Glad you had fun. Yeah, I had so much fun. This was lit. That was-